amenities, a question I get asked about all the time. What do I put in my listings? Which things do guests appreciate the most? Which things should you just leave out? Tune in to the entire video because I'll be counting down the best amenities from number 10 all the way down to number one being my top amenity. Welcome to another episode of Airbnb Uncovered. I'm Matt, the creator of AirbnbUncovered.com and Airbnb Superhost. On this channel, I uncover some of the best kept hosting secrets, as well as share everything that I've ever learned after hosting over 3,000 guests. My tips, tricks, and best practices are all focused on helping new hosts earn more revenue, attract the best guests, and achieve Superhost status faster. So if you're new to hosting on Airbnb, this is the right channel for you. As Airbnb hosts, we know that guests often choose an Airbnb over a hotel for a unique experience. That experience could come in various forms, be it access to a kitchen, more living space, a couch, or even a direct entrance. But whatever the reason, as a host, you want to wow your guests to earn that coveted five-star review. And this applies whether you're hosting a $1,000 a night property or a $50 a night property. It doesn't matter. The goal is the same. Exceed your guests' expectations. Since most of us don't host in the $1,000 a night category, let's go through the more common amenities that you need to have in your Airbnb. If you do host in the $1,000 a night category, you better make sure that you have at least every one of these 10 items. So let's get into it starting at number 10. Coming in at number 10 is a welcome binder. In your welcome binder, you'll want to include a welcome letter, your house rules, and house guide, which can be the same as what you have on your listing on Airbnb. You're going to also want to include recommendations, local recommendations, as well as have some local deals and coupons included in the binder. Number nine is cleaning supplies. If you want your guests to clean up after themselves, then make sure that you provide these. These days, guests are also more concerned about sanitization and the spread of germs, so hand sanitizer and disinfecting wipes are a must. Number eight, toiletries. Guests forget things plain and simple. Since you're running an Airbnb and not a hotel, you don't have a front desk where guests can go to get toothpaste in the middle, in the middle of the night in their jammies. So anticipate what your guests could forget and then provide it for them. If you want to know exactly which toiletries I provide, then check out another video that I did on amenities. You can watch it by clicking on the little I in the upper right hand corner of the video right now. Number seven is some cell phone chargers. There's nothing worse than forgetting your cell phone charger on a trip. So you should stock the most commonly used ones for your region. And in most, of, most cases around the world, that's going to be a lightning charger for an iPhone. And for an Android, it's going to be a USB micro B or a USB C. Don't fuss too much about these names. Just perform a couple of searches on Amazon for chargers for each types of the phones. And then you can also find one charger that has multiple ends for the different types of phones out there. Number six is snacks and drinks. Guests arrive hungry and thirsty pretty often. While I'm not suggesting homemade bread or orchard grown fruit from your own backyard, you should at a minimum provide a few dry goods, granola bars, chips, nuts, and other non-perishable items. In the fridge, well, make sure there is cold water and possibly some other drinks like soda or pop. Above all else though, make sure that you have coffee and tea available. There's nothing worse than getting up in the morning only to realize that you don't have any coffee. And this, well, this is one of the most noted items in my reviews, and it pays off extremely well since the cost of stocking these items is very low. Number five is a couple of different types of pillows. In my units, I always keep four pillows on the beds. Two of them are firm while the other two are soft. And believe it or not, the correct pillow can completely change how comfortable that you think the bed is. If you don't believe me, try it in your own bed. Grab the opposite type of pillow that you normally sleep with and then test it out for the night. I bet your comfy bed will turn into an uncomfortable one and, have, and leave you with a sleepless night. 
Coming in at number four is parking. If you don't have access to a parking space where you list, then make sure to have all the nearby parking options available, including the approximate cost for each one and have it available and ready for your guests. We are now on to the top three amenities in the list. And number three is actually three items, and it is a hair dryer, an iron, and an ironing board. I can't tell you how many times I answer this question before a guest checks in. So please take it from me. Make sure you have a hair dryer, an ironing board, and an ironing and an ironing an iron in your unit. Number two is a workspace. We're likely gonna see a decline in business travel, but an increase in leisure travel. And a big part of that leisure travel is gonna be remote workers who are going to be working from your home. So make sure that you have a desk, a task chair, and at the very least, a space that can double as one, like a kitchen table or a laptop table that goes over a sofa. I've also done a detailed video about this topic, and you can watch it right now by clicking on the little I in the upper right-hand corner of this video right now. Now coming in in the number one spot is high-speed internet. Regular viewers of my channel won't be surprised by this whatsoever. I've been talking about it for like the last year, and that's why it takes the number one spot. High-speed internet is so important for streaming videos, taking video conference calls, and generally to have a great experience while using connected devices. If you think that you can skimp on the internet, then just think back to the last time you were in a restaurant, a big box store, or a hotel, and the internet sucked. I'm sure that it left a dark shadow over your experience. About the only time poor internet is acceptable is at a remote cabin or a cottage where high-speed internet just isn't available in that location. Question, what is the amenity most talked about in your reviews? Is it one of the ones I just listed? Tell me now in the comments below. While having some of these amenities will certainly help make your guest stay more enjoyable, having all 10, it'll likely put you over the top. Not a single item on the list is more than $100. Well, a workspace could be more than 100, but that's the only one, and you could do it on the cheap by purchasing used items on Kijiji or Craigslist. The return on this investment will be huge, since you'll earn more five-star reviews, and more five-star reviews means a higher search ranking, and a higher search ranking means more bookings because there are more eyeballs on your listing. By having all 10 of these amenities, you're proving to your guests that you've anticipated their needs, including the ones that they may have forgotten. You're also giving them something to write about in their review, something beyond the host was nice and it was a nice place. Many of the amenities I just went over have been noted in my reviews time and time again. Be it the phone chargers, the snacks, the comfy beds, or that my listings are an ideal place to work from. As always, I hope that this video gave you a practical piece of advice that you can implement right away to improve your Airbnb business. If it did, then tell me by giving me a thumbs up or leaving a comment below. I have over 50 videos on my channel now and nearly every one of them will give you some sort of practical advice on how to make more money from your Airbnb or how to get better reviews or how to generally improve your Airbnb business. I'll be back next week with another tip, trick, or best practice. If you don't want to miss it, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and then click on the little notification bell so that you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. So until then, bye for now.